From time to time, we hear stories about how incredibly beautiful and diverse Alabama is. This isn't just propaganda. The state was remarked upon by the early travelers as being unusually rich in landscape and plants and animals. The reason for this is that Alabama has a large number of different geological regions. These regions weather to form a variety of different landscapes and these landscapes have on them a large number of plants and animals. This is perhaps the most geographically diverse area in Eastern North America. Alabama's resources provided to us by nature for thousands of years in the past have set the stage for Alabama history. Most of us are aware that the earth is quite old and that the geological forces that are moving the fractured surface of the earth around a process we call plate tectonics, have, have been at work for a very long time, perhaps four and a half billion years. The present landscape is the eroded remnants of this great mountain range pushed up during Pangean times. The Piedmont is the broken, twisted, unrecognizable remains of the mountain roots. The Valley and Ridge is the wrinkled, landscape pushed up like a rug on a polished floor and greatly eroded. The plateau is the fractured, crazed landscape where the rivers have eaten out the twisted remnants of the cracks along which it's broken. And then the Highland Rim is the edge of the big dome called the Nashville Dome in Tennessee in which limestone has been brought up from below and the limestone nature of the Highland Rim is due to that fact. So you've got this hard uplands, this northern Alabama. The edge of these hard rocks, where it transitions to the soft rocks of the coastal plain, is the fall line. Every time a river flows off of this hard uplands and encounters this softer coastal plain, it is expressed as a set of falls or a set of rapids. It's hard to overestimate the importance of the fall line. Everything changes at the fall line. The geology changes, the geography changes, the character of the river changes, plants and animals that live below the fall line are different from the plants and animals that live above the fall line. And as you go south, the landscape flattens out the rivers begin to meander back and forth. And very shortly, you're in the Black Belt, which is the, uh, what we call the upper coastal plain. It's the old dinosaur age coastal plain. The lower coastal plain, the flat, piney woods Alabama that we all have seen on our way to the coast, we can call the Pine Belt. The river valleys, of course, are still full of of swamps and cane breaks, but the uplands are covered in longleaf pine. So the truth of the matter is that Alabama is a beautiful place. It ranges from these beautiful white beaches, this broad plain full of pine trees, hardwood forests, waterfalls, sparkling rivers, mountains, caves. We really have it all. And we should preserve this place because it is a diverse place. We've got more animals, we've got more plants, we've got more different landscapes than almost any place else on Earth. <laughs>